Yeah, so I think the, the craziest part for me is when I started BMX when I was younger, the Olympics was never even a, a goal or something I was thinking about, you know what I mean? And as soon as it came in, it quickly like switched to top of the priority. And yeah, it, it's crazy now to be in a position where it, it like it's looking like I'm going to be competing there. And it's a, it's a game that's close enough for my family to come over and watch. And I'm like going to feel maximum support, you know? And yeah, it's been... A, a lengthy process and a, qu a qualifying period that's that's been really difficult and took a lot of consistency and training training wise mentally and physically has been more dialed in than ever i i definitely like switched up to take a more serious approach and Yeah, so BMX is an amazing sport to watch. I mean, it's an action sport, and like any sport, you can really get behind athletes when you watch a journey, and in this journey, it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of crashes, you know what I mean? And people love to see crashes just as much as they love to see the big tricks, and when you see that and you see someone progress and put in the work, it feels like you're on that journey with them, and I mean, I'll be watching a friend compete, and I feel like I'm literally riding the bike with them because I've seen everything prior to this, you know what I mean? And this one competition of 60 seconds is the tip of the iceberg, and so I want that tip of the iceberg that the world's going to see to be the best, and that's how every single BMX rider feels who's going to the games, and it's not a sport where there's, like, a, a, a constant winner, you know what I mean? Like, there's no one, there's no one dominating. This is a sport where 60 seconds of the whole four-year period, you know what I mean, is, is what's going to matter, and... That means it's anyone's game, and so to follow an underdog is what people love to do, and I think everyone at this game is going to be an underdog, you know, and, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing sport to watch, and that's one of the reasons I fell in love with it. I think uh, being competitive, I'm a really comp competitive person and building a lot of confidence this year, competing gold is absolutely the goal. I mean, going in, I, I love the title of Olympian, but I love the title of uh, Olympic champion even more, Olympic medalist, and yeah, that, that's going to be the goal going in. I'm sure that's every athlete's goal, so I want to put, put the work in to try and do that, and yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. Like, th this year, I've had the most successful year of competing I've ever had. Uh, I'm going into this this Olympics as world champ and that's not at all what I expected to happen so I expected to go in my first Olympics being one of the younger riders being an underdog and I think now there's kind of a lot of chips in on me because of this successful year that I've had and I don't take that as pressure but I take it almost as like a lot of confidence that I'm bringing in and just more motivation to try and continue that streak. The, the triple flare is a trick in BMX. The flare is basically going up the ramp and doing a backflip, but then doing a 180 degree turn to come back down the ramp. And so the triple flare was three backflips on a ramp and then turning around to come back down. And it kind of just spiraled from like a small idea that I had because the double flare was a trick that I'd started to get consistent, started to do in competition. And we were talking about like maybe doing a project with Red Bull to like try and push the sport and do a new trick. and. I thought, oh, like, almost as a joke, it was like, oh, how crazy would it be to do like a triple flare? You know, like, no one's even thought about doing it. And it, uh, my, my team manager was like, if you want to do that, like, let's make it possible. And I was kind of flicked from this idea of being like, all right, like, let's get it done. And I massively underestimated the trick before going into it. And...